I'm speaking to you today from the traditional and unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil people. So I want to talk to you today about how you should be doing your own audience research, not paying an agency or a market research firm to gather important insights about your issue, to generate earned media opportunities, and to recruit new supporters. So audience research, it's always valuable. We use it to gauge public opinion on our cause, on our issue. For example, we worked with an organization, an environmental organization, and during the early months of COVID, in BC, parks were closed, access was restricted, and they wanted to understand how that was impacting people. So we worked together, deployed a survey, and they discovered that people had a very strong connection between parks and mental health. And so we actually designed a campaign together around that theme, which felt a little fresh for the environmental sector. But we, we would have never gotten that insight if not for the audience research. So we ran that survey. And then what we did is we gathered up like four to six of the tastiest data points of that survey, including the like headline around mental health and parks. And we pitched that story to the media. So the story is anchored by the survey data, but then augmented by quotes from the executive director or program staff. And then you want to get a uh, third party endorser, like a psychologist or an academic. Editors tend to love stories with numbers in them. And so we found this to be quite consistently successful. Run a survey, get the insights, pitch the high points to the media, media covers it. How do you run these kind of cheap and cheerful but effective surveys? So we use a enterprise tool called Qualtrics because we do a lot of these, but SurveyMonkey will do just fine. We use Facebook and Instagram to recruit respondents. We want to recruit about a thousand people from our target audience. Usually that's something like British Columbians, but you can also use the tools inside Facebook to target particular demographics. And if you're tricky, certain psychographics as well. We use a raffle model. So the incentive is that we're giving away a couple hundred dollar gift cards to one of the a couple of the people who enter the survey. So respondents give their phone number or email address to enter that draw. And when we run these surveys, I'm coming to the third part of our triple threat. The final question on the survey is, this survey is on behalf of this environmental org, insert your org here. They're focused on preparing BC for changes uh, that climate change is bringing. Would you like to stay in touch with this organization to learn more? So the respondent, the person answering the survey has just spent five to 15 minutes thinking about and answering questions on this topic. So we find that they're quite primed to opt in at that moment at the end of the survey. We have run a bunch of these surveys with three different clients over the last 18 months. And we find that on average, 43% of people opt in to this ask. And we actually have tested these supporters, these new supporters, and followed them for a year and found that on average, they're about average compared to other sources of supporters for these organizations. Because there'd be a worry that, eh, are these like low quality people, uh, not low quality people, but low quality in terms of their engagement with the org? No, they're average in terms of actions and donations. So what does this cost? In terms of the hard costs, these surveys we've run average about $1,800 to recruit about 1,000 to 1,200 respondents. So as I said, about 40% of those people become a supporter. And so the cost per acquisition there is about $3.75 per person, which is good value in our view. So this is the triple threat. You may be doing some of these things, but you can combine it this way. You spend about $2,000, you get the great research, you get um, media relations opportunities, and you can acquire four or 500 new supporters. That is my bit and thank you for listening.